This is By The Numbers, I'm FM Tahiti and I hope you're all doing well. In this episode we're going to get back into a league game. I've got a few matches to show you, a few events to talk about. I've got Craig Robinson's Our Keeper's History open at the moment. Um, partly because I'm just finishing writing an article for Dictate the Game about the whole using expected goals against the judge your keepers. And one of the things I thought I'd just point out is at the start of the season, Six appearances, he's conceded eight. He's expected goals against in the league and, um, you know, ignoring the penalties, um, if there are any. I know there was a couple in the, the cup. Then actually, his expected goals against is about 11.3, 11.4, I think it was. So he's about three or four goals under the expected goals uh, total. So he's being more efficient. He's performing well that kind of marries up with some of the performances he's put in um recently obviously six games isn't a huge sort of sample to go from but he seems to be making a good start you can also see that in his average rating um it's really um up on where it was in the past seasons he's played at this kind of level so he's he's doing right only three clean sheets but actually it's more about keeping the overall total down so schedule wise I played a few more games than I expected to actually so the last game we played was Harland and Wolf which we won 1-0 nice clean sheet then we played Dungiven in the Steels and Sons Cup third round which we won 2-0 Blaine Downey scored another sort of thunder bastard of a free kick and that went in immediately after this match um, clubs in the championship started putting bids in for him because I guess he popped up on the radar by scoring two amazing free kicks in a row so to offer him a new contract and up his wages, and it looks like he's staying for the moment. Then we played PSNI, um, the police service in Northern Ireland, and we beat them 1-0. Uh, we were all over them. 1-0 is flattering to them. We were completely in charge from start to finish. There was no way around that. Um, Carl Scott got the goal in the end, but it was just a good, good performance. Banbridge is... I think I remember a match recently where a referee has robbed us more than they have done in this Banbridge match. So 2-3. Um, 3-2 to them, I guess. We took the lead with Bonis, a nice little goal. Then we had a perfect hoofball goal. Left winger gets the ball in their half, sends it back to our left back, uh, Brown. So it was um, Gordon to Brown, I think it was. And then Brown lofts it straight into the penalty box for our target man, Bonis in this case, to just tap it in. But he was offside slightly, so that was disallowed. And then a few minutes later, Tommy Ray apparently went in with two feet on one of their players. And it gave me that kind of, you know, that commentary bit where it says um, so-and-so went down really easily. So basically dived. It's saying they dived. So they dived, got sent off, and then it became... A lot harder, but we had a penalty given against us as well, which was not the fairest. We got a penalty as well back and um, scored that one. And then Norm McManus got a lucky rebound um, towards the end when we were tiring out. But we still outplayed them all the way through. So we should have got something from that. But unfortunately, the referee decided it wouldn't happen. Uh, and then we played Glebe Rangers in the fourth round. The cup we beat them 1-0 and again we were all over them but it was a bit hairy towards the end because we hadn't quite finished it off I had rotated a few players in players who were unfit or uh, players I just wanted to give a bit of a, a bit of an opportunity to so they came in 1-0 means we're going to the quarter final if we look at the quarter final standings currently we've got Newtown they're non-league We've got a good chance of getting into the semis. In terms of other teams around that are going to be difficult, we've got Donegal um, Distillery in Queens, and then Larne, Crusaders and Ballymena are all playing their reserves or second uh, teams. We could, if we're lucky, get to the final again. Um, so we might come back for... If we get in, into the semis, we might come back for that. Uh, but today we're going to play on, uh, play on in the league and play Armagh. So we are second... So Donegal, three points ahead of us. Um, Amar in third, so this should be an interesting test to see how we're getting on in comparison with everyone else. I'm hopeful. 
helpful. Um, transfer wise, we made a few moves. Um, so no one else has, has left yet. Uh, but we did bring in Mark Mitchell and Alex McKilmel. Kilmel. McKilmel. 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 From Dungannon. <laughs> Which I also didn't say properly. Uh, Mark Mitchell, you might remember, he used to play for us <laughs> before he got stolen for free. He's actually played some uh, premier matches for Portsdown, just not done very well. Um, so we scouted him, came back saying he could be a good premiership football at some point, but he was on loan. So we thought we'd bring him in. With Cockcroft going, we need some support and we don't want to pay anyone anything. So we got him in. We also got in this guy on loan and again we're just saying he's going to be an impact sub for us i might bring him on instead of uh, tj hughes he's got a bit of pace and acceleration he can dribble and finish um he's off the ball's reasonable so he could have some potential for us there also he can play in defense it's a bit of cover if everything goes horribly wrong i don't see how he didn't look like he could right so playing armar let's make sure we've got the right people playing so let's tommy ray so he got suspended uh sent off in that other match is still off and little is injured so gareth clark's going to come back in robinson playing last match but he's unfit we're going to start him and then bring him off at half time for warwick we need to try and build up his fitness um macklemore we're going to bring on for hughes feel bad because Gordon's not really do with him on the bench and get rid of anyone because technically we get rid of Adam White for the moment for this match this should do it's a reasonably strong team that's been performing reasonably well there's no major issues there the 4-4-2 Hmm. Pushing all the way back for this one. Uh, Crawwell, their keeper, is a player we tried to get. So he was on my radar. Um, again, he looked like he might be good. Uh, we put an offer in, then they put a better offer in. It was like a to retain him. Um, so he missed out because afterwards he wanted a huge amount of money. I think he went from we offered him something like sixty pounds a week, and he was happy with that. And then afterwards, he wanted 140, which is a bit much for an unknown. Bonnet's almost getting in there, putting him under pressure to begin with. Bonnet, he's not quite as good in the air as Dempster was from um, set pieces. Oh, Clark, good tackle. Uh, if you're watching YouTube videos at the moment, you've got some time and some other things you want to try. I've got a couple of recommendations. Um, save it. Yeah, go on. Offside anyway, but he still tried to save it. Um, the Northman is always good. He's got a few different videos, like his Blythe videos, his Andorra billionaire experiment, which is actually a bit more like an experiment than a lot of the experiments you get out there actually are. Oh, he's trying his best from distance. Uh, he's always good. He likes to do a financial look at things as well. So if you like to play frugally, he's got the tips for you there. Downey bringing in Bonis, Scott, oh, so many. Scott and Bonis link up quite nicely, I've noticed, because even though they're not you know, individually high scorers, they do give each other opportunities, so they will pass. They're not a massively selfish pairing. Maybe that's an issue there. So yeah, I recommend the Northmen. And also I think it's Fox in the Box has started their um, Football Manager FM uh, 101 series. So the first 101 series is about criticizing, praising, training, um, and the impacts it can have. And they're quite short videos. I think he's going to do a series of them. They're well worth a watch. And learn quite a bit from them. I think we'd be the better team. We're also the team that's slightly more knackered in midfield. Let's bring Warwick on for Robinson. Because I don't want him to kind of tear something on his way back in from being injured. Honest nods it on. No one there. Unless Scott scores, we will probably bring on Macklemore to see how he does as an impact sub away from the 70th minute. 
pushing him back. Oh, Scott almost had that. Oh, that's terrible. Good saving at the end, that one-on-one, -on -one, but that was terrible positioning in the defence. Wrong way, Evans. Wrong way. Clear it. Come on, Lynch. Counter-attack. Lynch has been quiet the past few games, but he has been quiet and solid. He's not been making mistakes. They've gone long. There we go. Brown's doing well. Porter down went brown as well, apparently. Scott didn't get that, but he did get that one. So Scott did well to fight for it. That's the proper pressing forward. That's why the pressing forwards are so good. They'll fight for that. They'll put people under pressure. Allen in the danger zone. Pomers. And it's just a foot. That's all it took. And it's unfair that it's not counting that as an assist for him because I think he's counting it as coming out of a, a tackle or out of a 50-50, but yeah, that definitely is an assist. All right, let's bring on McGreevy. Some seamless editing there whilst I answered the door. It's a good neighbour and let the parcel in for next door. So what we're going to do, Graham McGreevy's going to go on for Blair Downey because he's a little bit tired. And then Alex McLemore on for Carl Scott. Let's see if we can um, keep this lead. Go on, Lynch. Oh, good save by Robinson. Almost didn't look like you there. Omar starting to squeak ahead on the old uh, shots. They still got the same amount on target in the end, which is all that matters, I guess. Off your yellow card stacking up now, both full backs. Go on, Robinson. Terrible kick out there. One of those camera angles that make it look like it could be a really good one. Oh, he's passed him. <laughs> good job he skied that one. Ten minutes to hold out. You can do it. One nil smash and grabs are fine by me. That's it. McKenna blocked. Oh, he managed to squeeze past there, but Robinson picks it up. Go on, Alan. Straight into the wall. Not what we needed. Coward tags off. They run him off. Three four three. See, even they're playing with inverted wingers. Very popular role this FM. Or Lynch trying something there. Right, Macklemore managed to win a corner. I'll do. Crawwell collects. Just a few minutes to hold out. It's worse if they did score, it wouldn't be completely against the runner play. It would be massively frustrating. Oh, come on. Not like that. That is against the runner play. Decided. Long distance shot. We've conceded a couple of long distance ones this season like that. Absolute screamers. Robinson should have done better, but at the same time, that's a bit of a freak shot. Clear it out. Can't lose it now. If Matthew Johnson allowed a space for current giving him, then he'll punish us with his long range shooting. He already has. Thanks, assistant manager. Warning us about what was Captain Hindsight. There we go. 
Johnston getting man of the match, presumably because of his wonder strike. Um, far from pleased. There we go. Macklemore stressed. That's what you got to get used to. So 14 points after 7, They're averaging 2 per game, which is a reasonable return. What would 2 a game get us? So it should give us 44 points in the end. 44 would have been enough to be 2nd or 1st, or 1st again last few seasons. So 44 is not a bad total to have, um, or you know, projected total from what we've got so far. And steeded quite a few against in comparison to you know the, the ones around us. We've scored a decent amount too. Oh, what's our performance review? B. Generally happy. We like our pressing. Good. Right, we'll end there for the moment. Schedule wise, we've got Ballyclare, which I'm not going to show you that one because we almost always lose against Ballyclare. Uh, we'll play the quarterfinal first round and then we'll come back potentially after that and see where we are. Thanks very much as always for watching.